and today um, we're going to be doing a unboxing video of a reasonably new phone um, it was actually announced earlier on this month um, unfortunately this is the only chance I've had to get around to doing it um, of the Honor Play uh, this is Honor's um, offering and venture into the uh, smartphone gaming market so without further ado let's have a look at it and see what's in the box so here we have the box for the Honor Play, uh, we'll just open it up. Uh, before we do that I just want to highlight the fact that it is the 64 gig version with the 4 gig of RAM and we've got the Midnight Black version. It does also come in red and I believe there is also red and black gaming versions. Uh, there is a couple of other colours available, I'm not sure of their availability in the UK however. Um, so let's lift the lid off here and we have the phone on top so we'll just pop that to the side and see what else we've got as always uh, this is a retail package so it may not be exactly the same experience as you get when you unbox your one that you buy with your hard-earned cash um, as is normally the case with honor or huawei devices we do get a tpu shell case which has the cutouts for the camera the fingerprint reader and then uh, some buttons on uh, the side Move that off to one side. And we also get our SIM pin. Um, in there you would normally have your instruction manuals and all that sort of stuff as well. In the box we do have a charger. Now this is a Huawei Quick Charge. It is not a supercharge. And that's because uh, the Honor Play does not support supercharging. As I'm pretty sure not that many of the Honor devices do. I believe they support a uh, magic charge or something like that, um, which is just another term for quick charge. The output voltage is five volts at two amps or nine volts at two amps. So it will charge your phone reasonably quickly, but bear in mind this is not supercharged. And we do have our standard USB type C to USB A cable. Um, that uh, is therefore charging and uh, plugging into computers and whatnot. So moving all that off to the side, let's have a look at the phone itself. So the phone itself is a um, metal rear with um, glass front. Now it is a IPS display and the display is measuring in at 6.3 inches. Um, it's a 1080 by 2340 pixel display with an aspect ratio of 19.5 to 9 and a PPI of 409 uh, pixels per inch. Um, the processor in the phone is a high silicon Kirin 970, which is um, actually the same processor as I'm using on the device to record this, which is the Huawei P20 Pro. Uh, we also have the Mali G72 graphics processor in there as well, um, which we'll come back to in a little bit. It's got micro SD card support um, in here, which is a dual SIM tray slot, but it will also accept a SD card, and that's up to 256 gig. On the rear, we have a 16 megapixel uh, PDAF sensor and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The former has an aperture of 2.2, the latter an aperture of 2.4. You've also got your LED flash. Um, video recording, it will record at 2160, so 2K at 30 frames per second and 1080p at 30 frames per second as well. On the front, uh, we have a 16 megapixel f2.0 um, camera and uh, we've also got a um, optical sensor there uh, with the speaker in the middle this is just an earpiece speaker um, at the bottom we do have a loudspeaker and a usb type c charging port now this does not look like it is going to be type c 3.1 it's type c 2.0 glad to see that we also do have a three and a half mil headphone jack down at the bottom there so you can plug your headphones in there is none included in the box, however, standard headphones will work. On the back, 
we have got a fingerprint reader um, which will do all the usual things that Huawei um, and Honors do. So you've got uh, support for dragging node notifications and things like that. You can also see there that it does say AI camera. And this, if I can get the angle right, uh, there you go. This is because uh, this camera does use the same AI um, effects and algorithms that are used on the P20 Pro. So um, good camera, uh, will be interesting to get some testing done on it. Um, as for the weight of the device, you are looking at 176 grams. Um, when compared to my daily driver, which is a Galaxy S9 Plus, you can see they are very, very similar in size. Uh, the Huawei, the Honor, sorry, uh, slip of the tongue there. The Honor is around about the same thickness. Um, the Samsung does look thinner due to the beveled edges. Um, down the bottom, very, very similar sort of setup. At the top, um, again, similar setup. You've got the antenna lines on the Honor just there. Uh, there's no SIM tray slot on the top of this because it's on the side. Uh, moving around to the side, the other side, we do have our volume button, so up, down, toggle, and our power key. On the other side, we literally just have your SIM tray slot. There's nothing else there. If we power the phone up, you will also see that um, akin to the P20 Pro, this device does have a notch. Now this notch can be uh, made to be hidden through software if you don't like it. Um, I'll be honest, I've grown quite used to the notch now since I've been using it on the P20 Pro for quite some time. Um, it is bigger, it's wider because you do have a wider earpiece speaker there. But not quite a nice, uh, clear, crisp display, again at that 6.3 inch diagonal. Um, so that's a quick overview of the Honor Play. Um, there will be a full review coming out on coolsmartphone.com once I've had some time to spend with the device. Um, I am looking forward to testing it. I'm looking forward to running it through its gaming credentials as well. Um, one thing I have noticed just from uh, some initial use when using this with polarized sunglasses uh, the screen is very, very difficult to see. This is one of the downsides of it being an AMOLED screen. So if you are planning on getting this phone and you're going to be using it for driving in sunlight, um, it's something you may want to bear in mind. But other than that, it looks like a solidly well-built phone and I'm really excited to put it through its paces. Bearing in mind that this is coming in at um, a relatively cheap price, I believe it is uh, currently... £279, although I'm just going to double check that for you. Um, so you can currently buy it from the I the High Honor store. And um, I'm just double checking their website for you now just to see, but I'm pretty certain it is £279.99. Uh, you can also buy this from a couple of UK stores, so I believe it is available in three. And it's also available in on Amazon and I believe in Argos as well. So if you are wanting to have a look at this and you do want to go ahead and buy it, then uh, those are some places. So that's all for now. Uh, that's Gary signing off. Um, please, if you have found this video useful and you've liked the video, please do subscribe. Um, and if you want to find out any more about this device, then check out the full hands-on review that will be going live on coolsmartphone.com in the next couple of weeks. Cheers. Bye. See you on the next one.